Hi, this is John Krause with California Corks. Welcome to Zip Sips. Well, today I want to take you to a winery located on an island in the middle of the San Francisco Bay. It's called Treasure Island Winery. And I want to introduce you to their 2016 Pinot Noir from the Bennett Valley. Now, I really love the versatility of uh, this wine grape. While all wines take on the terroir and just about everything to do with the winemaking process, Pinot Noir seems to provide a wide spectrum of flavors, from bright red cherry to cherry pie filling, uh, all the way to earthy forest floor notes that you pick up on the nose and uh, a, a dampness, so to speak, uh, are very characteristic to experience on the nose and the palate when tasting a, a various Pinots. Uh, this makes Pinot Noir one of my go-to wines when dining out with friends uh, that are not really big, big red wine drinkers, but they want to enjoy a bottle of wine together at uh, dinner. Now, well, granted, uh, lately we haven't been able to go out and enjoy dining as we normally did, but uh, it's still my go-to wine with those uh, friends that just haven't really got into the really earthy and the uh, structured wines. This is my go-to wine. Uh, it's it's uh, pleasant. Everybody enjoys it at the table. Now, Treasure Island Wines was founded in 2007, and it was the first operational winery and uh, wine tasting room on the island. It was a former uh, U.S. naval base, again, right in the middle of San Francisco Bay. It's underneath the Bay Bridge between San Francisco and Oakland, California. Jim Morawski is the winemaker and the owner, and he's fulfilled his goal. He wanted to create a place where skilled winemakers could craft small batch artesian wines, and he's done it. But I want to focus on one of his wines, and that was, the, again, the 2016 uh, Bennett Valley Pinot Noir. Um, it's, it's delightful uh, wine. Rather than having that bright cherry, it's more of a uh, uh, black cherry. It's along, along that line. Nice smooth finish, a little bit of vanilla at the end. It's a good wine right now. And you can let it lay down for even a few more years if you'd like. Now, this Treasure Island wine pairs well with a, a wide range of foods. I just wanted to read something here on the back of it, the bottle here. It said, the Bennett Valley AVA is located in the northwestern region of the Mount, mountainous uh, Sonoma Valley Appalachian. Its vineyards are cultivated on hillside terrace slopes and are permeated by early morning fog and cool marine breezes. And this is a single vineyard uh, Pinot Noir. And as I mentioned, it exhibits dark cherry, and while berry uh, richness with accents of some herbal flavors as well. And, and you do pick those up at the end, the finish, it kind of lingers this little herbal taste going on. But when you try this wine, and I hope you get an opportunity to, uh, think of roasted chicken, pasta dishes, but you don't have to stop there. As this Pinot is ideal with duck, other uh, game birds, casseroles, uh, beef stew, uh, even uh, think about poached or broiled salmon would uh, be delightful. Sheep's milk cheese often pairs especially well with Pinot Noir. Now, uh, it's not the only cheese, you don't have to stop there. Uh, actually, all Pinots tend to be uh, very versatile when it comes to pairing with various cheeses. And that's nice if you're sitting down with a little bit of fruit and some cheese and, and a glass of wine and you're just enjoying it yourself or you, uh, when you can get some friends together and you're doing it, Pinot is a good wine to go to uh, with the cheeses because it's so versatile that way. Uh, but one exception might be, and it may be one of your favorites, is that of goat cheese. Uh, it, it may be a favorite, but it's a strong cheese and it's often uh, it, it's just going to overwhelm the grape, the, the Pinot itself. Uh, now, if you're watching this video uh, via my blog on my website, 
CaliforniaCorks.com or CACorks.com, you'll see there's a little link there that you can click on. And it's nice because uh, you could take a little trip. You know, right now with uh, the pandemic, we're not able to get out and do things like we used to as the wine lovers that we are. Going out and visit the wineries, well, you can visit Jim Morawski uh, virtually. Uh, I had a nice little interview with him. A friend of mine, uh, Vance Huntress of Huntress Productions, we got together with his drone and his cameras and, and we just had a blast out there on the island. And then we also had a really good time uh, talking with Jim about his wines, uh, the little bit of history of his winery. And it's kind of a neat little virtual trip you can take. In fact, one uh, small winemaker was bringing in a batch of fruit and they were getting ready to sort it. And that's kind of uh, featured in the video as well. But again, this was John Kraus. This was Zip Sips. And uh, again, uh, this was Jim Morawski's uh, Treasure Island Wines 2016 Pinot Noir from the Bennett Valley. Until next time, again, John Krause, California Corks, good sipping.